Hi everyone. Um, welcome to this week's science. This is for the week of April 13th. So um, this is our third sort of, you know, full science lesson during our online learning time. I hope everybody's doing well. This is kind of a review. Well, it is a review of simple machines. Um, and what we're going to do this week is we're going to look at complex machines and then try to think about the simple machines within them. So sometimes something that's called a complex machine is not maybe really that complex. All complex means is that there's more than one simple machine in that item. So thinking about a hammer, well, probably a lot of you already have thought about this or know this, but a hammer is a lever way easier to hammer if your hands are at the bottom and your lever, this is your pivot point, your lever is longer, you have more power. So definitely a lever. But also the claw part, if it's a claw hammer, you might see as a wedge or maybe as a form of inclined plane. Um, so it's definitely got at least two simple machines in it. So this week for science, you're just going to have, uh, you can look on our Weebly page and there's just sort of a chart for this week's science that lists some different complex machines and you try to think about what you think might be inside of those. So um, like I think maybe scissors might be the first one on the list and I kind of made a guess at that for myself. I wrote that in with red. Remember, just like if you were in the classroom, Red means you don't have to write it or do anything with it. The black part is what you want to have um, for your science write-up. But scissors, I wrote a couple ideas of, of a couple um, simple machines that I think are inside the scissors. So you can look at that on there and see kind of a good example. But it's the first thing on the chart. I think there's a stapler on there if I remember right. But it gets harder. Oof, it gets harder. For example, I think on there there's the car. Well, there's a lot of different parts and things going on with the car. None of us are experts on that. You'll just have to make a best guess at what you think. Now, it's okay if you want to look up diagrams online, um, you know, parts of a car or basic, you know, general parts or anything like that. It's okay to do and um, make a guess because a car might be three or four or five different simple machines, I'm not sure. Um, and elevators on there. Most of us don't have an elevator in our home. Uh, or even if we did, we probably wouldn't even know what it looked like on the inside. So you might have to do a little, not research, but a little looking into it to see, um, to get some ideas. Of course, we've already talked about some of these things too, so hopefully you've been paying attention. Um, so you just write down the simple machines that you think are in those complex machines. And then at the bottom of the sheet, I left a couple blanks. So like if you really get stumped and you're stuck and you're like, I don't know, an elevator, Jacob, why are you asking me this? I'm not a, you know, an engineer um, yet. Uh, it's okay, like if you get frustrated or can't figure anything out, those bottom couple blanks are for you to get creative and for you to write some things in. So you might look around your home and think, well, I don't have a mechanical pencil, uh, pencil sharpener, but I do have this or that. And so then you can write it onto the chart and then try to list the simple machines that are in it. So that gives you a little freedom and creativity within the science this week. Um, oh, my last thing I think is that you can copy and paste the little chart all on your computer into a new document if you want to type out your answers. Uh, that should work. Um, you could also just make the chart yourself. There's only eight items on it, so it would be really easy to do. So if you're not sure about the tech part of copying a document or something, just get out a ruler, make a chart really quick. There aren't numbers, you're not, you don't have a question and the regular for science this week. It's just the chart doing that for the week. Um, and then the last thing, I keep thinking of things, the last thing is safety. Um, you shouldn't be running a blender or your car or anything like that, um, well, unless, of course, you had permission from your parents. Um, so these are just things to be 
thinking about mostly um, or looking at, but you shouldn't be running machines and stuff without permission. Little disclaimer. Okay, hope everyone's well. You can ask me during the week on Zoom and stuff if you have more questions. All right, thanks everybody.